What's going on guys, Fuller here with Custom Offsets. Now, if you're watching this video, there's a good chance that you're trying to add your vehicle to our gallery. And if you haven't yet, make sure you head out to customoffsets.com forward slash add to show off your truck in our fitment gallery. So we just wanted to make a quick video to kind of explain to people uh, what the gallery is and what can all be in it. Because we get literally hundreds and hundreds of submissions per day, but not all of them make it to the website. So here are some of the reasons why. If you don't already know, we developed the gallery so that people who want to find uh, answers to the questions like, what's the largest wheel and tire I can fit on my six inch lifted Chevy Silverado? They can go out to the gallery, plug in their year, make, model, what suspension they have, and they can see what everybody else is running. And then they can see all the details right down to if trimming was required or if they're running wheel spacers, uh, you know, the width, the offset, the tire sizes, everything's in there so you can figure out how to find your perfect fitment. So in order to do that, the best way that we can ensure that everybody gets the right sizes for their vehicle is to make sure that the gallery has the most accurate information possible. So one of the first things you'll see when you go through the gallery trying to add your vehicle is the list of drop downs for different sizes and makes and models of wheels and tires. If you scroll all the way down, you'll find that there's an option to add your own. And we actually have a team of people that go through the gallery and they can verify what wheels and tires you're running. Secondly, it's really important that the sizes you enter into the gallery are the exact sizes of what you're running on your truck because that's going to help other enthusiasts find the right fitment for them. So if you have a metric size tire, it's very important that you put in you know, the 27560 uh, R18 rather than what it equates out to in the standard sizing. So don't just guess, go ahead and put exactly what the tire says on it. If you're running a standard 33 by 12 and a half, that's fine, go ahead and put the 33 12 and a half. The same goes for wheels. If you bought your truck and it already had wheels on it, in most cases you can take a wheel off and look at the backside and you'll have a stamping on there of what uh, the diameter is, what the width is, and then again what the offset is. All these numbers are really important data to help other people find the right size wheels and tires for their truck. When you're adding your vehicle to the gallery, we share your photos on social media and we'll tag you if you include your Instagram name when you add it. Now, we want to share the highest quality, best pictures we can, so we've listed out all the photos that we want. We also have examples of each photo, and then there's a highlighted section that shows you exactly what we're looking for pictures of. So that's going to be you know, a front angled shot, a rear shot, a shot of the stance, a shot of the trimming. There's all those examples listed out for you so that you can go out and take the best pictures possible. If you do upload photos that are kind of questionable in quality, we actually will send them back to you uh, and just have you re-upload new photos. Another important note is we are all about custom wheels, aftermarket wheels, so we don't allow vehicles with stock wheels in our gallery, but there are a couple exceptions. If you have spacers on all four, you know, that are like a two inch spacer, something that really puts it out there that does impact your fitment, we'll take that, you know, if you've got a lift kit, but it's stock wheels with two inch spacers, you know, and like 35s or something like that, you can put that in the galley, we will accept that. But if you're just running like a 3 8 spacer or something to clear your brake calipers or to stop it from rubbing on a control arm, that's not something that we're looking to have in the gallery if you're running those stock wheels. Another exception to the OEM rule is if you have like plus size OEM replica wheels. I know a lot of people out there, especially with lower trucks, are running like 26 inch replicas of Denali wheels. That's okay, we'll take those. You can upload any year, make, and model truck, Jeep, or SUV into the gallery. We love them all. Uh, if you want to upload a car, we actually have a separate company called Fitment Industries that has the exact same thing for cars if you want to upload your car there, and they will share it on their social media. If you're running a truck that has a combination of a suspension lift and a body lift, it's really important then when selecting the suspension drop down, you choose just the suspension lift size. So for example, if you have a six inch rough country, select the six inch, and then in the suspension details, you can add the brand as being rough country, and then there'll be another section where you can also type in there that you have like a two and a half inch body lift to get a total lift of 8.5 inches. For most people, in order to fit the biggest wheel and tire possible, they're going to be doing some trimming on their vehicle. So we ask you, when you're uploading your vehicle, that you be honest about how much trimming it requires. So if you had to do a full NorCal and smash the out of your fenders and cut your bumper, go straight up SEMA Beaver on it, you can put that, that's fine. It's gonna help other people know that that setup might not fit if they're not willing to do that amount of trimming. So there's options for minor and major plastic and metal trimming in there. So like I said, just be honest about how much trimming you did because that's only gonna help people out in the future. 
and the more accurate we can have the gallery, the easier it is for people to find the perfect fitment. So if you're trying to be featured on custom offsets, like I said before, simply go to customoffsets.com forward slash add, throw your vehicle in the gallery, we'll check it over, make sure that all the specs are correct, and then we'll get that uploaded to the website as well as to Facebook and Instagram so we can share your ride. If you have any other questions on the gallery or how to use it or how to search for vehicles, we have other detailed videos on that too. You can find those links in the description. That's all for now. I'm out of here.